Super K-Pop. When Stephen Hawking was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease, the doctors told him that he would live five more years at most. He was 21 at the time. But he didn't give up. He used two fingers in his body, the only muscles left that he could use, to control his wheelchair and work. Publishing the Big Bang and the Black Hole theories and becoming one of the most renowned scientists in history. When he was asked about his greatest accomplishments, he answered with the following. My greatest achievement is that I'm still alive. Hawking, who communicates only using the muscles in his cheek, is still living life to the fullest. Today we begin Super K-Pop by talking about Stephen Hawking. I am Sam Carter. Yes, that was Koma Sum. Thank you for breathing by Tableau. Okay, before we hear some more music, let me tell you guys quickly how you can tune into Super K Pop. First, log on to adidangradio.com and click on the on air button. Second, you can download the Adidang Radio app on your smartphone to listen. It's free for both Android and iPhone. Third, if you're in Jeju Island, turn your radio dials to 88.7 MHz in Jeju City. 88.1 MHz in Sogipur City and 101.9 MHz in the Taejung area. Fourth, you can also tune in through TDMB Adirang Radio. We are also on Australian SBS's digital channel, Pop Asia Radio, Monday through Friday at 2 to 4 pm. If you're tuning in through Pop Asia Radio and you leave us a message, I'll be sending you a signed CD. But no matter how you're tuning in, do log on to uh, adirangradio.com and leave us your stories, request songs, answers to our quizzes, and of course your questions for me and my guests on the Super K-Pop message board. I shall be waiting. Writes messages now. Marika from the Philippines writes in. DJ Sam, good afternoon. I'm with my friends right now. Can you greet them? Their names are Alyssa, um, Aira, and Glitzel. Yes, hello to you guys. Alyssa, Aira, and Glitzel. Sorry if I pronounced your names wrong, um, but yes, Marika, thank you very much for that. Uh, Tracy from the USA writes in, Hey Sam, I'm watching TV and guess what? Um, I well, Guess what I'm hearing? Gordon Ramsay saying the word brilliant. This led me to think of you, which leads to the question, Have you ever eaten at a Gordon Ramsay restaurant back in London before? Um, a Gordon Ramsay restaurant? No, I haven't. I haven't had the pleasure of eating at a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. I hear they're, they're great. So one day, if I do go back to London, sometime soon, I will definitely do that. Tracy, thank you very much for that. Uh, Rusi from Indonesia writes in, Hello Sam, since you um, are so naughty and ignored my message yesterday, here is a little punishment for you. Firstly, I want you to say this phrase. This is Bahasa Indonesian. Um, it is, Rusi saya minta maaf, saya berjanji ak- Cancering membaka pesan kamu. Um, I want you to say that. It's also because how I miss you speak in Bahasa. Um, secondly, I don't know if you saw Eden um, post a picture with Suko. He's so cute and he likes to play with Suko when you're not around. So could you hug Suko for me? Thank you, Sam Loverussy. Ah, uh, do you know what? That's a good point, actually. I do ignore Suko too much. Suko, here we go. There we go. If you're watching on Ustream, I'm I'm holding Suko right now. I'm giving him a bit of a hug. There we are, yes. Thank you very much, Rusi, indeed, for your message as well. Okay, more music now. This is Suregi, Trash by H. Eugene featuring Suki, and Phantoms, Ta'ara, I already know. Baby, I'm so sorry. Thank you. 
Super K pop a quiz. Okay, guys, listen very, very carefully. Here is today's quiz. It has become quite commonplace for idols to perform not only on stage, but also to try their hand at acting or appear on variety TV. Some of them, like actress Suji from Miss A or variety TV MC Kyu Hyun from Super Junior, are quite successful. Several members of the group Jia are successful in this way. Xu An's excellent acting skills made him one of the most respected young actors in Korea, and Hyungshik and Kwang Yi gained popularity through TV shows. Tong Jun also became a regular panelist on various variety shows with his athletic talents. Meanwhile, another member of Jia is showing off his chops as a radio show host on Adidang Radio with a show called Hot Beats. So the question is. What is this member's name? Is it A. Shiwan, B. Kevin, or C. Hyungshik? Now get your answers written on the message board on the Adidang website. That's adidangradio.com, and leave me your answers. I'll be sure to announce the winners on the message board, so please do check that out. And I'll be sending out signed CDs of Chegu Yaidel Chair. So be sure to leave your answers on our message board. Right, let's have a listen to Step by Step by Chegu Yaidel. 혼자 영화를 볼 때도 나 혼자 방해 Right, we got some messages in. Brittany from the USA writing in. Hi again, I just wanted to say you look nice in black. Brittany, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Aislinn from the USA writes in. Hi DJ Sam, hope you're having a great day. I am... I'm indeed Aislinn. I hope you're also having a wonderful day. Having a nice day as well. Thank you very much. Uh, Natalie from Ecuador writes in. Um, Hi Sam, my name is Natalie. I'm from Ecuador. So what's up? I hope you're having a good day and I love Lunafly's music. I hope you can visit us soon. What countries do you want to visit with the members? Uh, Natalie, um, do you know what? Me and the members talk about this a lot. What countries would we like to go to? And um, it always ends up being countries where we have lookies or where we have Lunafly fans. So if there are Lunafly fans in a particular country, we want to go there and perform for you guys. Natalie, I hope that answers your question. Uh, Rama from Tunisia writes in, um, Aslema, big brother, do you watch any drama these days? I wish I can see you acting in a drama, even though I don't know if you would love that. So would you like to act? Rama. Unfortunately, I don't really have a lot of time to watch dramas. Um, acting, it's something that I would like to explore, I think. Um, when the time's right in my career, I'm sure that's something, a path that might open up to me um, if the project was right. So, um, Rama, I don't close any doors. So, um, yes, one day you might see me in one of those. Rama, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Krista from Indonesia writes in, Hello, Sam and Super K-pop staff. I want to wish my lovely cousin, Johanna Natalia, a happy belated birthday. It's the 24th. I hope that she'll be blessed and she's getting married soon. So um, hopefully, hopefully she'll be a good wife. I told her to stream your show, Sam. So if she's not listening now, she is guilty for not hearing a birthday shout out from your sexy accent. Anyway, thank you very much, Krista Chen. So yes, happy belated birthday to Johanna Natalia from Indonesia, I'm, I assume. So yes, Krista. Thank you very much indeed for your message. Okay, more music now. 24 시간이 모자라. 24 hours by Sunmi and Beast Shadow. Yeah. 
Hear a wide variety of K-pop genres from 4 to 6 o'clock p.m. every day with myself, Sam Carter. On Super K-Pop. Right, for those of you who missed the quiz earlier on, I'm going to give it to you one more time, lucky you. It has become quite commonplace for idols to perform not only on stage, but also to try their hand at acting or appear on Variety TV. Now, some of them, like actress Suji from Miss A or Variety TV MC Kyuhyun from Super Junior, are quite successful. Several members of the group Jaya are successful in this way. Shiwan's excellent acting skills made him one of the most respected young actors in Korea, and Hyungshik and Kwang Yi gained popularity through TV shows. Dong Jun also became a regular panelist on various variety shows with his athletic talents. Meanwhile, another member of Jaya is showing off his chops as a radio show host on Adidang Radio with a show called Hot Beats. So the question is, what is the name of this member? Is it A, Shiwan, B, Kevin, or C, Hyungshik? Get your answers written on the message board on Adidang Radio. Dot com. Okay, more messages now. Julianne from the Philippines writes in, Hi Sam, how was your day? Hope it's great. Me, well I just finished my exam and I rushed to go home to tune in to Super K-pop. Take care always and I hope I can meet Lunafly soon here in the Philippines. Julianne, um, I think hopefully Lunafly will be going to the Philippines sometime very, very soon indeed. Thank you very much. Uh, Toy Lee from Thailand writes in, Sam, how are you? Today I have free time so I'm watching cartoons all day. When you have free time, what do you do? Um, Toily, I don't really have a lot of free time to be honest. Um, I do a lot of uh, writing music, just listening to music, uh, watching movies. I like to watch movies. Um, I like to work out as well. So yeah, there are a few things that I like doing um, at Toily. Thank you very much indeed. Enjoy watching cartoons. Uh, Meryl from Tunisia writes in, Morning Sammy, how are you? If anyone saw me right now, you would see how pathetically sick I am. I can't stand up and I'm all floppy, yet I woke up early this morning to listen to you and to finish my drawings. Typing this so slowly with cautious optimism that if I act like I'm not sick, I will be magically cured. Anyway, have a nice day. Meryl, that is a good attitude to have. Act like you're not sick. And uh, usually people get a little bit better. But anyway, yes. Uh, drink lots of water, take some medicine, Meryl, if you can. I'm sure you'll get better soon. Uh, Danielle from the Netherlands writes in, Hello DJ Sammy, pretty random question. But for me, it's important to know for a project that I'm working on. What kind of style of art do you like more? Sketches with a pencil or a collage with colored paper? Hope you'll answer this so I can continue my project. Danielle, um, I prefer a sketch with a pencil, actually. I think um, people who sketch with a pencil, that requires a lot of sort of um, uh, detailed skill. So, um, yes, I, I request um, a sketch with a pencil, Danielle. Look forward to seeing it. Thank you very much. Uh, Rim Ben Hamida from Tunisia writes in, Hello, sexy host. This is me, Rim, from Tunisia. It's been a while, right? Well, I hope you and Suko are doing well. I'm uh, doing some homework right now. Already 10 days left for school. I'm not really excited because it's going to be my senior year, so I'm a little bit nervous. Rim, do not get nervous, okay? I'm sure you'll do very, very well at school. Thanks very much for your message. Alessa from Australia, hello. How you going, Sam and Suko? Good day. How's your Aussie accent going, Sam? Keep practicing. Um, you heard it there, Alessa. How you going, Sam? Does that sound just English? I don't know. Um, I've caught the flu, so I've been in bed the last three days trying to get better, especially since I've got an interview tomorrow for a job after I graduate. Uh, what was your first job? Hope you're doing well and have a wonderful afternoon. Love from Australia. A letter. Uh, firstly, good luck with uh, your interview tomorrow. I'm sure you'll do great. My first job, well, my first part-time job was while I was in university. I was teaching English. Um, I also, but before that, I used to make sandwiches in a canteen. Yes, I was very, very young. I think I was, I just turned 17 
and uh, while I was at university I needed to earn some money so I used to make sandwiches in a canteen I used to get shouted out because I couldn't make sandwiches fast enough so um, that was my first ever job a letter thank you very much for reminding me of that and for sending in your message uh, Shakina from Singapore writes in okay random question Sam which one do you fear the most 10 giant tarantulas or a hundred flying crickets around you? Right, um, this is a very difficult question, very important as well. Do you know what? Um, I can't stand tarantulas. I think they um, kind of freak me out a little bit. So I would fear 10 giant tarantulas a lot, I think. I could deal with flying crickets. Uh, Sakina, thank you very much indeed for your random question. Okay, let's move on now to I'm a journalist. This is where you guys send me reports from your countries. I want the hottest weather, sports, lifestyle, travel, and of course your everyday life news from your country. Um, tell us about the things that have happened to you personally. We've always waiting to hear from you at Super K-Pop and we'll randomly choose winners and give away CDs of Outsider. So get in your reports for I'm a journalist. I'll read them out later on in the show. Right, the next this song is called Parade, it's by Laina Se Tamyon. Sam's Choice Airplane, a group that debuted in January this year, is a three-member male group that performs hip-hop music. Now, they recently came back with another single. Yes, the single is called Give Me a Chance, and anyone who's ever fought with their boyfriend or girlfriend can probably relate to the lyrics. Now, the guitar's serene yet pure sounds make it a song that you can listen to anytime and anywhere. Main vocalist Hong Mingi moves smoothly through three octaves, while rapper M9 adds the beat. And Paul Giddy offers his unique voice into the mix. Today, Sam's choice, let's have a listen to Airplane with Chona Drum Pada. Give me a chance. <laughs> K-Pop Connection Have you ever heard the phrase Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon? Well, they say that everyone in the world is connected through six connections or less. On K-Pop Connection, we'll be talking about musicians and their unexpected connections to other musicians, composers and producers, while listening to their music and finding out more about their lives. So, who will be our K-Pop Connection today? Let's first hear the music. This is the song Chilyeon Gane Zarang, Seven Years of Love by Kyu Hyun. Now, Super Junior's Kyu Hyun, who is famous for his witty personality, is also a ballad singer who sang Yu Young Suk's song Seven Years of Love. Now, he was asked once about his ideal type of girl, and he said that it was A. Lee. Now, Kyu Hyun said that he likes girls with pretty foreheads and said publicly that A. Lee was his ideal type. But in the past, he had once had his feelings hurt by her. Jay Park, who was friends with both singers, introduced them to each other, but Ailey didn't know who Kyu Hyun was. Fortunately, now they're good friends that meet and catch up on various music programs. I'm sure Kyu Hyun also loved Ailey's confidence. Let me play a song for you that shows off Ailey's confidence to the max. This is Poyo Jokke, I Will Show You by Ailey. Right.
Right, before I take a very, very short break, it's time to read out some reports for I'm a Journalist. Sakina from Singapore writes in, Hi Sam, I'm here to report on the weather. It's been raining cats and dogs here in Singapore since the morning. It's been quite terrible. Several places were reported to have flash floods and some trees were uprooted, causing traffic jams on the road. So yes, people in Singapore, please be careful uh, with the rain and the flooding. Thank you very much for that uh, report. Brittany from the USA writes in, In America, it is very hot, or at least where I am. A few weeks ago, it started to cool down, but now it's even hotter. I feel as if I uh, were able to step one foot out of the door, I'd burst into flames. It was Labor Day a couple of days ago, and I could hear the fireworks from my room. Although I didn't get to see them with my own eyes, the day was still enjoyable. School is now starting for most people. It's the end of a great summer and back into the usual routine for both students and adults. Even though I am homeschooled already, I am anticipating next summer. Brittany, thank you very much indeed for your report. Essie from Israel writes in, Yesterday was the New Year evening. We have our own Jewish calendar. Anyways, this holiday is like Shabbat to us. Those who keep the holy day on Saturday Shabbat, they have to keep this holiday till Saturday night. By keep, I mean go by the things that are not that you are not allowed to do, like using light, electricity, fire, music, TV, etc. I don't keep it like that, so I enjoy myself. Okay, till next time, my friend. Have a great day. Etty from uh, Israel, thank you very much indeed for your report as well. Uh, Zhenya from Mexico writes, I'm a journalist, report, a coffee to die for. Good afternoon, handsome anchorman Sam. You might have already known about the most expensive coffee in the world, the Kopi Luwak. But have you ever heard about the strongest one? Well, I will tell you about it. It's called Death Wish Coffee, and it's said to contain 200% more caffeine than a standard cup of coffee, or four times the caffeine of an energy drink. It is made only from Robusta coffee beans, which are much higher in caffeine than Arabica coffee beans, the ones generally used in most commercial coffees. Its label displays a skull like a pirate flag, and the disclaimer reads, This is not your regular morning coffee. This is not your store-bought coffee. You will not find this coffee at your local diner or fancy coffee house. Death Wish Coffee is the most highly caffeinated, premium, dark roast organic coffee in the world. This is extreme coffee, not for the weak. Consider yourself warned. It can only be purchased online. Would you like to give it a try, Sam? I'm not a coffee person, so I think this this would give me a shock to my system. I will have to pass. Uh, Zhanya, do you know what? I am very, very curious, but I think I would suffer as well. Yes, I think 200% more caffeine than a standard cup of coffee is is pretty extreme indeed. Certainly a coffee to die for. Zhanya, thank you very much indeed for that report. Uh, David from Switzerland writes in, um, Hello, 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 best DJ on earth, besides Chris, who was on Simply K-pop. Come on, David. Yeah, I guess Chris was pretty good. Anyway, it's an honor for me to represent, um, to be the representative to give you the latest Swiss news. These last two days were very special to the students of the graduation class from the KZN. Uh, yesterday, they had the possibility to try out new sports at the ETH University in Zurich. We could choose between sports like body combat, Zumba, cycling, muscle pump, and yoga. And after that, we had a collective super condition training. And Sam, my legs are very sore today. Uh, today is also a special event for us students. We have the opportunity to visit both universities, the ETH and the University of Zurich, and attend special classes there, or just inform ourselves about the different models. There, These were the latest Swiss news brought to you by David, your special reporter, for all the cheese and chocolate around here. Kind regards, David from Switzerland. Thank you very much, David, for your report from the land of Switzerland. Thank you very much indeed. Right, Emma from Sweden has sent in a very long message. I'm going to have to cut it down, I'm afraid. Um, Emma on University Adventures Chapter 2. Yesterday was a welcome day for all new students at Emma from Sweden's university. There was information, lots of different clubs, and lots and lots of flyers, and free candy elsewhere. But what caught Emma's eyes and ears like a little child on Christmas Eve was an orchestra. Anyway, to her surprise, they wanted new students to join the orchestra, and why was Emma so happy? Well, she has been playing the saxophone since she was nine and is now 19. Uh, if this isn't a sign, then what is? Emma from Sweden is going to find out about them, and who knows, maybe she'll be in that orchestra in the near future. Thank you very much, Emma, for that wonderful story from Sweden on Emma's University Adventures, Chapter 2. I look forward to Chapter 3. Okay, um, I'm going to take a very, very short break, but in Part 2, we're here with Jimbo for his last ever episode. Very, very sad indeed. But um, I'll leave you with a song request by Melody from the USA. This is Goodnight by 
Ships and She. See you in part two. <laughs> Hear a wide variety of K-pop genres from 4 to 6 o'clock p.m. every day with myself, Sam Carter, on Super K-pop. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Super K-pop. Before we move on to some more... Music, let me tell you once again how to join us here on the show. First, log on to adidangradio.com and click on the on air button. Second, you can download the Adidang Radio app on your smartphone to listen. It's free for both Android and iPhone. Third, if you're in Jeju Island, turn your radio dials to 88.7 MHz in Jeju City, 88.1 MHz in Sogipo City, and 101.9 MHz in the Tejang area. Fourth, you can also tune in through TDMB Adidang Radio. Uh, we are also on Australian SBS's digital channel, Pop Asia Radio, Monday through Friday at 2 to 4 p.m. If you're tuning in through Pop Asia Radio and you leave us a message, I'll be sending you a signed CD. No matter how you're tuning in, though, please do log on to adidangradio.com and leave us your stories, request songs, answers to our quizzes, and of course, your questions for me and my guests on the Super. Super K-pop message board. I shall be waiting. Right, more reports. Uh, Liao here from Singapore writes in, I'm so sleepy and today's cool, rainy and windy weather makes it perfect for sleeping in. Uh, thank you very much Liao here for that. Amanda from Malaysia writes in, uh, the MTV World Stage live in Malaysia will make a spectacular splashback at the surf beach at Sunway Lagoon. The much anticipated outdoor music concert that is recorded live for global telecast marks its fifth year on on Sunday the 8th of September 2013 with international acts Robin Thicke and Far East Movement who are set to ignite this year's MTV world stage together with K-pop band EXO and Malaysia's own and one of Asia's leading hip-hop stars Joe Flizau. Brilliant Amanda. Enjoy the MTV world stage live in Malaysia. That's going to be a brilliant concert. Uh, Christy from the USA writes in weather report from Anchorage, Alaska. It's been raining for the past few weeks here and it still is at the moment. If you can send some sun my way keep up the good work love all of your songs christy christy i'd love to send you some sun um in alaska do you get a lot of sun i'm not sure but um christy yes um get through the rain i'm sure you can uh stephanie from peru writes in uh the climate is changing gradually the cold is leaving spring spring is coming soon grass is green and flowers bloom september is the month of spring in peru in other news today we celebrate the day of taekwondo in my country I have several of my college friends who practice this sport at the professional level. Even they have won several international competitions. Uh, last year, the selection of Korea was in my country, and I was very happy to see a spectacular show. Dear Sam, I wanted to tell you that today, new members join my family. My dog had three puppies. What names should I put to them? Help me. Um, okay, Stephanie from Peru. Three new puppies, so you need names for your puppies. Okay, this is going to be very, very difficult. I suggest calling them, calling one of them Suko. We have a Suko here, so I think that would be cool. Um, what else? Maybe calling one of them Sam, and then seeing as our our guest today is Jimbo, how about one of them called Jimbo as well? Jimbo, Sam, and Suko. I think that's that's three good names for puppies. Stephanie, let me know if they're okay. If they're not, I'll try and come up with some better names. Stephanie, thank you very much indeed for that report as well. Okay, uh, the next song is called Tonight, it's by Speaker.
brought to you from Sochodo, my hometown. So. The Bounce, the last ever Thursday, this is the last ever Beats and Bounce, we're joined by soul music producer Jimbo to learn everything there is to know about Beats and Bounce. Jimbo sir. Hey. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello. Good, good, good. It's the last ever, last ever Beat and Bounce. Yes. It is, it's the end it, of an era. Is it? I feel like it's the end of an era. Oh. Yes. You've brought so much wisdom to the show, oh which has God. been good. <laughs> thank, thank you. Yes, and you know what? We've got so many messages saying, what is going on? Zhanya from Mexico writes in, Jimbo, my favorite guy on the earth. Why are you doing this to me? I'm going to miss you so much. Your sexy voice that melts in my heart so many oh, times. Zanya. It was a pleasure to be able to listen to you every Thursday and get to know amazing artists and genres of music by you. So, um, yes, that was Zhanya. Oh, Zhanya. Who seems very sad. And, I'll, um, I'll miss you. Yes, and, and you know, April says the same thing. I'm so sad. I heard it's Jimbo's last day on Super K-Pop. I'm going to miss him and his words of wisdom. Had a fun time listening to him every Thursday. I know he's very busy. Won't there be a chance that he's coming back, Jimbo of the Whiting? Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, I definitely want to come back. That would be amazing. One day. But you know what? You're, you're now becoming, like, such an in-demand in -demand producer. <laughs> it's very difficult to get to get you back on radio, I think. Well, but, there, um, there has been some, some hashtags that you, you just brought up. Like, in-demand. In, uh, in-demand. In in-demand. And uh, what else? Like, brilliant, fantastic. It, yes, exactly. Um, Dana also says, this is Jimbo's last episode. I'm having a heart attack. Why, Jimbo? Why are you leaving us? Um, but, yeah, do you know what? Let's, let's talk about, I mean, you're obviously getting just crazy busy right now. Well, not only that, but um, I I have to go to I have to go to the states for a while. Yeah, like one or two months. That's that's what I planned. Okay. So I'm having a show there and uh, spend some family time there. Yeah. So yeah, physically I can't be here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And secondarily, um, I I kind of uh, I kind of uh, feel I kind of have this urge to study more ah. not, not ac academically but just I have some themes to research right 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 yeah. right yeah, so, so as a, as an artist as as a music person yeah 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 you, you're trying to evolve yourself and and, and uh, yeah. yeah evolve would be the right word right yeah, yeah. evolve and just focus on mm. just I want to just focus my 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 every one, one one every single every single aspect should be just just one driving yeah. force completely understandable completely yes. understandable so that's why well uh, we definitely look forward to um, um, Jimbo's fu the future Jimbo basically yeah. Yeah, look forward to the future Jimbo mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because I think some great music is going to come out um, of your brain <laughs> Oh yes, of your brain. So we're all looking forward to that. <laughs> um, I like your look. <laughs> I like the look that you made. Yes. Uh, right. Uh, April from the Philippines also um, has a question. Actually, okay. If you can meet and talk to any famous musician from the past or the present, who would it be and why? And what would you talk about? Uh, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson would be one. And I want to ask him about his um, his passion for melody. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he's such a melody uh, enthusiast, definitely. Yeah, he's a super fan of melody, mm. and um, he, when he creates music, he just comes up uh, with everything uh, at once: he, the the melody and mm. the uh, dance, yeah, and the rhythm. And every so aspect, every aspect just comes uh, one. Just, just yeah. it, it, it just come uh, at the same time, basically. At the same time, one. So that's incredible. Yeah. So I wanna. Um, 
I want to listen about. I want to hear about that. Michael Jackson, definitely yeah. a legend. And actually, do you know what? Talking about Michael Jackson, I'm, I went to China last week. Mm -hmm. And on the way back, for the first time, I sat next to our CEO. And it's, it's kind of the first time that we've spoken seriously. But my CEO started talking about Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. And he actually really thinks that Michael Jackson is an alien. Or oh, was an okay. alien. Because he says it's impossible for a human being mm -hmm. to be that... Um, creative to be that amazing so um, yeah interesting talking about Michael Jackson I think, uh, <laughs> an absolute legend so um, it's really good uh, to talk about Michael Jackson with others because because obviously everybody knows my, who Ma Michael Jackson is everyone's got an opinion as well yeah, yeah. So, so it's, it's a really good topic yes to, to be remembered like Michael Jackson that would be amazing for any artist right yeah brilliant yeah. Good stuff, good stuff indeed. Right, uh, we'll read out some more messages um, a bit later on. So many coming in, I guess it's because it's your your last day. Wow. So, um, but um, yeah, let's talk about some music that you'll be playing for us today. All right, um, I just, um, before I leave, before I end up this beat and bounce, I, yep. wanted, to, uh, I wanted to discover some new artists okay. that is coming up. So what I've done is I just um, looked at, a, at the at the Korean pop chart, yeah. and there's um, there's hip hop R hip hop rap uh, um, um, uh, category as well. Yeah. So I just looked at it, so uh, and I uh, just scanned from number one to uh, say uh, number two hundred. Wow. Okay. And then um, I found some. I, I met some uh, songs and some artists. Mm -hmm. uh, I found some songs and artists that met my um, uh, taste and my criterias yeah so i'll introduce them to to you good stuff good stuff well um so what's the first song then the first song is um is called uh singing spring singing spring by 40. Mm -hmm. uh this guy is um is an r&b uh artist mm -hmm. he's a songwriter he pr produces his songs as well mm -hmm. and he's uh he's a good writer and uh he's a he's really a good singer at uh singer mm -hmm. um and he's he's pretty uh he's pretty new to to the scene but um he he has uh, already achieved um some reputations yeah and um some you know good chart uh chart placings uh, placings yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so yeah I want to introduce him and, and this song particularly the uh the April the April sing spring no 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 this song is a uh, singing spring. Singing spring, yes. Singing spring. This is really, um, really emotional, and mm -hmm. uh, it's really um, a beautiful song. So yeah, let's, let's start with this. Good stuff. Well, this is Pongul Norehada, "Singing Spring" by Forty. <laughs> Give you my everything I give you my everything Beautiful voice. As soon as I heard this, I was like, wow. Yeah, it, it just took two seconds. <clears throat> exactly, two seconds. I was like, wow, this guy can sing. I like this guy. This guy can definitely sing. Yeah. Uh, brilliant. Pomel Noreada, uh, Singing Spring. Beautiful, beautiful lyrics as well. Um, okay, uh, we got so many more messages. Tracy from the USA says, no, Jimbo. I'm going <laughs> to miss you on Super Caper. Um, hasn't been long since I started listening to you, and now you're leaving. This saddens me, but there's an end to everything great. Also, there's a social networking site, so I still have that to catch up with what's new with you so everything great doesn't come to an end love you and your work wow thank you yes I love um, girls who are uh, straightforward it's, 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 it's vital yes I feel. yes uh, no Jinbo <laughs> <laughs> very direct I love, I love that very very direct uh, uh, who else do we have we have City saying uh, such a bittersweet day so had to, so sad to hear this uh, would be our last show Jinbo we're going to miss you for sure um, but yes um, hopefully we can still see some more collaborations between you and Sam if not in radio perhaps through songs maybe take care and lots of love from Malaysia City thank you very much indeed do you know what um, Jimbo 
uh, I think we're going to see some hot collaborations very, very soon yes. with various artists. Yes. So we're all looking forward to that. Uh, what else? Krista, just want to say that I'm very sad to know this last episode of Jimbo. Jimbo had answered my various questions regarding the music complexity and I really felt helped with his answers. Wow. Just to let you know that Jimbo is everlasting. I will always support you even though the cops come knocking. Uh, <laughs> therefore, please answer the last question before you um, leave Super Cape Uh What is the best music experience, music experience you've ever gotten in your life till now? Um, Ooh, big question. All right, so usually a recent uh, recent events are um, are more um, more. Um, it, it just stays in my mind. Yeah. So um, the recently, recently I had this um, studio live string session. What are you serious? Yes. Wow. Over, over over this song that I uh, composed. Right. Uh, for uh, for SM. Yeah. And then um. The string, the string session was really good, and mm. the, the the string uh, string director, mm. the the session director was really really awesome. Yeah, she's a she's a really awesome composer. Right. So, uh, it was just super beautiful. Well, I I liked the original string arrangements. Yeah. But, but after after the, the string session uh, recordings, mm. it sounded. It sounded much dreamier and much sophisticated, and the scale is yeah. bigger. It's such such a beautiful change. So, yeah. so so that moment, I I could really see myself in like five years mm. and or in ten years, yeah. sitting there, yeah. conducting with, with conducting people with with much bigger, uh, yeah. bigger setups. I think uh, it was, was it your first ever live string session? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, live strings. Um, um, it makes such a big difference mm -hmm. than than MIDI. I think there's something that you can't even explain why, mm -hmm. but um, the, just the real sound of strings is 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 very very beautiful. Yeah. So I yeah. can't wait to hear that. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. To, I think I've heard it, haven't I? The original yeah. song. I've heard your yeah. what you've written. I cannot wait to hear it with live strings. It's it's, it's gonna be nine times nine times better. Oh, it's no. gonna be crazy. No, sixteen times better. Looking forward to that indeed. So yes, Krista, uh, that was it. Live stream recordings, beautiful experience, brilliant. Yes. Um, Liang Hair writes, "What? Why is it Jimbo's last ever episode?" Uh, Liang Hair, well, we've answered that. I think Jimbo getting very, very busy recently. And Brittany from the US says, "Sad to see you go. We are all going to miss you greatly." Yes. Um, right. What else do we have? Okay, a long message from Rusi. All right. From Indonesia. Rusi. Our favorite guy on the planet. How are you today? It's always nice to hear your explanations about music every week. I do enjoy it. So sad that today is your last episode. I'm sure going to miss you. What I like the most about you, and I don't know if you realize it or not, is sometimes you give some quotes when you're mm -hmm. talking. And I like your motto. Mm -hmm. um, well, so, to do with fearless, being fearless. Mm -hmm. And I will always remember the time when you made a jingle on the spot. Anyway, Jimbo, yes, you're born to be inspiring people with your life and attitude. Oh, Maybe you want to consider to write a book about yourself. I would love to read it because I love reading biographies. Um, and if you have time to travel, come here to Indonesia. We have a lot of beautiful places to visit, like Bali Island, Lombok, and Raja Ampat. Those mm -hmm. places have beautiful beaches, and you can um, get a tan there. Mm -hmm. But yes, thank you for sharing everything with us, Jimbo. Much appreciated. Please keep amazing, keep positive, and keep inspiring people. Wow. Such such a kind message. Beautiful message. Yes, I, I just I, I could just um I just feel feel her presence yes, almost. Definitely. Yeah, it's just like speaking just right in in right beside me. Yeah, definitely. But wow. yeah, you should write a book, dude. That inspired me a lot and that um that made me um again, that made me fearless. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I I I can I can now I can imagine myself uh writing a book. Yes about myself or uh friends around me or mm -hmm. um or or whatever or or bali <laughs> <laughs> whatever but i think someone like you who's been through um the experiences that you've been through in music mm -hmm. i think certainly your stories the people you've met can be very very inspiring for mm -hmm. people so you know i think that's definitely something you should think about wow you I should will. think about it. I will. Thank you so much. Yes. I will. And if you write it maybe in 10 years' time, you'll have even more to write about. Yeah. It'll be a crazy yeah. life story. Yeah. So, um, yes. If you need any help with that, I'm always there. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Yes. I will, I will need the help. I'll, I'll get us a publishing deal. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Right. Thank you very much for that uh, receipt from Indonesia. In China, Sam. Yes, <laughs> in China. I'll try and find a publisher in China. That'll be good. Um, okay, um, let's talk about the next artist and song. 
So the the, the last song was R and B. So uh, uh, small apologize for for y'all, uh, but yeah, this um, this coming two songs are mm -hmm. are uh, hip hop songs. So cool. So, yeah, I hope. I, I didn't make a big mistake. No, no, no. It's good stuff. So this is uh, JJK. It's it's JJK. The next song is uh, JJK's Concerned. Mm -hmm. uh, in Korean, it's 별 걱정. Okay. Um, he's a... This guy is a... Um, he, he debuted in 2006. Right. So it's been seven years now. Wow. Crazy. Wow. And he's now uh, in, in his late 20s. Mm -hmm. Well, to me, it sounds uh, pretty uh, still young. <laughs> <laughs> yes, still young. But uh, anyways, if, if you when you're in your uh, when you're in late twenties, mm -hmm. it's 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 pretty a good balance too. Um, you're you're still young and yeah. enthusiastic and you know passionate, mm -hmm. and you have you have a little experience now. Mm -hmm. So you, your your perception just changes and yeah. your your sight. It just broadens. Yeah, yeah. Things like that happen. So um, I think JJK in his led to to uh, uh to discover this song. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was really it was really improved. Mm -hmm. uh, it was w way improved one uh, than his previous one. So he's an, he's an evolved artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Which, it's really really happy to. Once you once you when you're in your early twenties or late teens, you're you're very limited mm -hmm. in your thoughts and yeah. and and you, and your sight. But I think once you you know get over mid twenties and late twenties, you start to think about things deeper mm -hmm. and and in a different way. So I agree with you definitely. So um, let's have a listen. This is Pyeong Gok Jung in in English is. Concerned. Concerned by JJK. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Zahan. Yeah. Wow, I love it. That is the best ever version of Happy Birthday I've ever heard. Wow. Kind of quarter shop is in there. It's got some jazzy feels in there. Mm -hmm. Zanya, you, you are a lucky girl. <laughs> you are a lucky girl. Zanya, you're lucky. Yes, very, very lucky. Thank you very much for that. I guess I'm, I'm thinking she's screaming back at home. Good ah, stuff. Thank you for the re re request, though. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> uh, Anne from Thailand writes in, Hi, Sam and Jimbo. I heard that it's your last day. Me and my friend April felt so sad. We're going to miss you. Um, well, we've already talked about the next activities. Anyway, we'll move on. For the last time, can Jimbo please say this? Uh, right, there you go, Jimbo. That's I think it's um, Thai at the bottom. What is it? Um, Last uh, two lines of the message. All right, um, I'll do uh, it. Uh, I'll do it uh, beautifully. Cool. Uh, Mahal kokayo. Beautiful. Mahal kanamin kuya Jimbo. Ma mimis kanamin. Wow, that sound. That sounds really. I've never heard Thai before, but I'm thinking that's what Thai sounds like. It was it was a bit uh, slow. It's 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 good to be slow and proper. Ah uh, yes, yeah. slow and proper. Mahal ka namin kuya jinbo, ma mimis ka namin. Wow, you you sound like you're in a Thai drama. <laughs> you should be in a drama in Thailand. <laughs> See, I'm there will be a phone call. I think asking yeah. for you to yeah, be in the call drama. Me. <laughs> call me. I love Thai food. I can eat Thai food every day. Good stuff. Good stuff. Right, uh, <clears throat> Stephanie from Peru writes in. Uh, Thanks for your help. You're totally awesome, Jimbo. Um, my new family's members. Oh no, yes, this is Stephanie who has three puppies, mm -hmm. and I suggested that she called the three puppies Suko. Sam and Jimbo. Oh, nice. So there's, there's a puppy in Cap Peru called Jimbo. Yeah. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good stuff. Anyway, um, thank you. so yes, uh, Stephanie, thank you very much indeed. Uh, she's going to call the trio lunatics. What do you think? Yeah, good stuff, good nice. stuff. Um, right, uh, what else do we have? Anyway, uh, tonight is a really good song. Um, I love speaker. She's referring to a song that we played earlier mm -hmm. on I Know. Uh, so yes, Stephanie, thank you very much indeed. 
for that. Um, Etty from Israel writes in, It was a pleasure to listen to you, Jimbo, on Super K-Pop Radio. I'm going to miss your voice. I wish you the best of success. I will support you always. Let's enjoy life and music as always. From your Ira- Israeli girl, Etty. Oh, my Israeli girl, Etty. Thank you. You have an Israeli girl. That's, yeah. that's a good thing. Yeah. I, I want to go to Israel. I mean, um, I, I, I got many. I, I got a good uh, gift. I... I I received a good gift from this uh, Super mm-hmm. K-pop because yeah. now I have several tickets <laughs> to go all over the world and just exactly you know, just stay there. Just just feel like it's my it's my home country. Exactly. Invite Jimbo to your country and he'll be there. Yeah. Good thank stuff. you. Thank good you. stuff. Good stuff. Uh, right. What else do we have? Rim from Tunisia writes in. Hey Jimbo, I am Rim from Tunisia. How are you doing? I really missed you. Um, I couldn't listen to you for more than a month. I've been busy. I wanted to keep listening, but now I have to go because of lessons. I have to study this period. Wish me luck. But yes. Good luck. Same here. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Yes. Good luck. Good, good luck. luck. Wish me good luck too. Good stuff, good stuff. Yes, uh, everyone wishes Jimbo good luck, I'm sure. Um, okay, uh, the next song. Next song. The winner of this uh, Korean um, uh, survival uh, 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 audition survival program. Yeah. Show Me the Money. Yes, which features rappers. Yep. Mm-hmm. The winner uh, of this uh, show is called Loco. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Loco is a winner. He started, he's debuted as a winner. Yes. So he was the winner of season one, yes? Yeah. Season one. I hope his career, throughout his career, he, he just remains to be... a winner. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So this guy, um, mm, this guy uh, uh, released a single. Cool. Um, which is produced by uh, producer Gray. Cool. Uh, from from Vivid Crew that I introduced you before. Ah, yes, yes. And Gray is pretty hot these days. He produced um, for he produced for Zion T. Mm-hmm. He produced for uh, Swings, mm-hmm. and those are all hot right now. Definitely. So yeah, Gray is, is one of the hottest producers, young producers in Korea, and uh, this Loco is 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 is, is Vivid Crew as well. Mm-hmm. So it, it's consisted of. Um, of four singers, producers, and one rapper, mm-hmm. and this one rapper guy is local. Cool. Uh, f- and featuring, uh, I think you'll you'll know better about uh, this group uh, than 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 I do. The speaker. Yes, Speaker. They're in uh, the same company as a very good friend of mine, Eric Nam. So mm-hmm. I've heard a lot about Speaker. They're they're great. They they're known for being good singers. Mm-hmm. They're very they're very good singers indeed. So. Um, Yes, I'm. I'm a big fan of Speaker. And uh, are they? Uh, uh, are they uh, uh, participants of any uh, audition programs? No, 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 no. They're just. Um, they're. They're a, a girl group mm-hmm. who have. Um, who debuted? I think about a year ago. I think. Huh. Um, but uh, very talented ladies. Nice. Awesome. Yes. Uh, what about the relationship between uh, Ihori? Yes, and, and they um, they have just come out again, and mm-hmm. they were produced by Ihori, which is an interesting fact. Uh-huh. So, um, yeah. And that's why they've been on the media. They've been a little bit um, sort of um, in the media recently, yeah. of course, because making, of... Making buzz. Yeah, exactly. Making music with Ihori, and um, yes, uh, we just played their comeback single earlier on, which, which is a great song. So, mm. yes, and, and Pangdare is a, is a good singer as well, so yeah, I look forward to listening to this. So, yeah, there was two um, hot buzz. Yes. Meets at this song. Definitely, definitely. This is Take Care by Loco featuring Pagnare of Speaker. Loco and uh, Pangnare of Speaker. Good stuff. Take care. 
I like that effect. <laughs> Is that how you record it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Uh, take care by Loco featuring Pagnare of Speaker. Cool. Um, well, um, I've kind of run out of messages now. So uh, before we run out of time, I really want to ask ask you a few questions of my, you know, for myself. Okay. How was it being on Super K-pop to start off with? Wow. Um, it was. It's really fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. First of all, it it was really fun because mm -hmm. um, now I understand like when you're sick or when you when you don't feel good. Yeah. And you come to the studio and just just do this super yeah. K-pop, and uh, it 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 makes you alive again. Really? Yeah. And then, I get that feeling too. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I heard I heard stuff like that from other DJs or mm -hmm. other um, people. Yeah. And uh, I I kind of experienced that. Yeah. So um, actually, I I started becoming um busy from last month. Yeah. So I uh I wanted to I wanted to um I wanted to have my time. I, I wanted to just I wanted to quit uh, yeah. earlier. Yeah. But for like four weeks, I guess. Yeah. I, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't say I I want to quit because, <laughs> because I I like that feeling. Yeah. So yeah, Completely it was really understand. good. So you think it was a worthwhile experience for you as a person, as as an artist? Mm -hmm. And uh, I met um, so many good people here. Well, especially not to even mention um, Sam Carter. Mm. Oh, dude, it was a complete pleasure. You're, 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 you're really a good guy, man. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, he, he Sam is such such a nice person. This is he's a he's oh. such a nice person. I I have many flaws. <laughs> but Sam seems uh, to have less. No, trust me, I have many, many flaws. Many <laughs> flaws. Uh, my friends will tell you. <laughs> my friends will tell you. But um, yes, absolute pleasure because um, I think you brought something different to Ali Dang Radio, I wow. think, which is uh, I like to be different. I like my show to be different. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it's been a pleasure to have you. Um, and also, I want to know quickly about um, the kind of stuff that's coming up for you in the future. What kind of music will you be making or performing? Will you be releasing more music for yourself? Will you be doing more producing? Um, I'll be producing more, mm -hmm. but um, my my single is coming out uh, hopefully on uh, in in October. Is it done? Is it recorded? Mastered? Um, not m mastered yet. Okay. But um, we're 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 gonna shoot the video uh in in late September. Sweet. Coming so, up soon. Yeah, it's it's coming out no matter what. Cool. And, and this song is kind of different because it's not uh it's not towards um just just public. Mm -hmm. It's more it's more uh, targeted uh to specific sp just specific specific people mm -hmm. like. Oh, all right, I'll just give you the keyword. Okay. Keywords: um, tech, future, cyberpunk. Sweet. Those, those are, those are them. Key theme words for the yeah, next song from words. Jimbo. Well, we're definitely all looking forward to that. Um, I'm sure if you if you're sort of in another country and you can't get hold of it on the Korean mm -hmm. sites, then I'm sure it'll be up on YouTube and, and places like that. Yeah, Good it's going to be placed on 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 pretty much everywhere that I can spread out. Well, as soon as that comes out, I'm going to be on Twitter just RTing that yeah. and uploading it. Yep. I'm sure um, a lot of the Super K-pop listeners will be looking forward to seeing that. And of course, Lunafly fans, you all have to check out Jimbo's next single. I'm, 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 it's, not, it's not me asking, it's me telling you. You have to check it out. <laughs> you have to check it out because it's going to be brilliant. Yes. Um, right, well, before we play the last song, <clears throat> uh, we've got 30 seconds. One last message for our listeners. Okay from you all right um well uh, somebody just brought up uh brought up the, the um my my uh my my uh famous quote yeah it's just uh being fearless yeah i guess so i guess that's the that's the last word for uh beat and bounce good stuff just be fearless just go fearless and uh know what you fear mm -hmm. and uh try to overcome that Good. And then you'll uh, you'll find yourself way bigger and expanded. Good stuff. Brilliant last words from Jimbo. Do the honors of please introducing the last song of the corner, please. So the last song is ego. Well, ego is really a tricky, tricky thing because because mm -hmm. it kind of betrays you sometimes. Of course. When when things are uh, going well, it exaggerates. Mm -hmm. And it uh, brings you uh, up, up, up in the clouds. Mm -hmm. But um, when things are not going well, it just betrays you. 
cool. and turns away, turns around and just goes away. That's true. So um, so yeah, be careful, be careful, be careful. It's just watch out for your ego. Good. Ego from Kuma Park. So this is this this is my final message actually. Brilliant. So it's been a pleasure. Pleasure, man. Cool. Uh, see you. See you soon. See you soon. Day with myself, Sam Carter, on Super K-Pop. Right earlier we had the quiz. The answer was, of course, B. Kevin. The winner will be announced on the message board as well as the I'm a Journalist winner. We've run out of time. Hope you had fun with me and Jimbo on his last ever episode. I'll leave you now with Rumblefish. Sarangal Marheo. Tell me you love me. I'll see you tomorrow.